A lot of people have been asking me lately how snowmobile transmissions and clutches work because they come from far away places where it never snows and it's sunshine and warm all the time. Unlike this winter hell. Anyways, they have two pulleys. The front one on the engine, which is called the driving pulley, is loose, doesn't grip the belt. And the back one is tight. It does grip the belt. You'll see how this works. There's the motor and there's the drive pulley. This is called a torque converter clutch. It's, all, it's a transmission and the clutch at the same time. So as you can see, the belt's loose. It's supposed to be. In this clutch you can see a spring and a pressure plate and there's centrifugal weights in there so when this thing gets spinning fast enough the weights move outwards which have levers on them and that pushes this plate inwards and that moves this side of the pulley in towards there and pinches the belt so that becomes your clutch it's actually a very smooth clutch it's like having an automatic in a car so the snowmobile starts to accelerate once it starts to accelerate there's more centrifugal force as this goes faster so it starts to squeeze the belt more and more well it's at the right kind of angle that the belt wants to ride up to a higher point on the pulley surface as you can see here but then the belt can't get longer so what happens is this cup is spring loaded to pinch the belt so as the belt wants to get shorter as it's getting squeezed this way and riding on a bigger diameter the belt has no place to go but then it gets sucked deeper into this pulley and that causes this pulley to expand to become quite a bit wider and then the belt rides down in the middle down here so it looks like a small pulley in the, at first and a big pulley at the back then becomes a small pulley at the back and a big pulley at the front so it's got a completely reversed ratio as you had when you started out and it's an infinite ratio it's really sweet how it works on the opposite side of the same snowmobile is what's called the chain case the big pulley is over there the shaft runs all the way across goes through a bearing into the chain case and on there is a sprocket the sprockets about that big and the one on the bottom is about three times as big so you get about a three to one gear ratio and the one on the bottom goes underneath the snowmobile and drives a cog wheel that drives the track. I'll start it up now and kind of show you how it works without taking off on me too quick. Alrighty. Motor is running. No grip on the belt. We're going to give it some throttle and you'll see it move over and grab the belt. Try again. So that's how it works. Now I'll show you on one that's up in the air so you can see how it changes the size of the pulleys. you can see how they change dimensions and that gives you all your ratio it's completely smooth like an automatic with no gears to change at all it's a great idea there's the chain case the final drive ratio in there you can see the shaft and that's called the jack shaft and snowmobiles sometimes have an air box this one doesn't because when I put the wrong motor in the air box wouldn't fit but snowmobiles don't need air filters because there's no dust in the winter time and there's my custom exhaust. You can see where I had to cut the original manifold on the motor, cut a piece out, weld it back together. Then I got a piece of the original exhaust from this sled and it didn't fit either so I had to cut it out and add a whole bunch of different sections there 
And then for a silencer, I just have an open can, and that's why it's so loud. After I rejetted the carburetors, it was perfect. 98 MXZ 440, which is now an MXZ 500. Sweet.